Our morning routine starts off the same every single day. I come downstairs and do my miracle morning. And as soon as I hear the children, I close down my laptop and I go upstairs to find them. The first thing I do is go and get Wills. I can often hear him chatting away to himself. And at the moment he doesn't try and get out himself. So I'll just open up his curtain, say good morning and lift him out of bed. And then we will go down the corridor to go and see the girls. The girls are often already awake um, and I'll hear them talking. On this occasion, actually, Lils was talking and Gracie was having none of it. And she just really wasn't in the mood to be waking up. But every morning we get up and we put on our dressing gowns, make the beds, and then we head on downstairs to go and get breakfast. What they have for breakfast each day depends entirely what they fancy. Sometimes the girls will help themselves to cereal or they might want some toast with jam or butter. Wills will have exactly the same every single day, which is porridge. It's his favourite thing in the entire world. I will also then give the girls their vitamins. And these ones from Halibor Orange are great because they are full of calcium and vitamin D, which is vital for healthy teeth, healthy bones and healthy immune system. And the girls really like them because they're soft and chewy and in their favourite flavours. So they'll gobble them up mm. before or heading on to the living room to go and watch some TV. I only let them watch TV in the mornings at the moment. We, I've banned it completely in the evenings because I feel like it just boggles their brain before bedtime. So they love this time and it gives me the chance to go upstairs and get myself dressed and ready for the day. They're quite content looking after themselves, so I'm really lucky in that respect. Once I'm dressed, I come back downstairs, finish off doing my morning routine, which you can watch. I'll put a link to that. And they will bring in their plates. I've trained them well. They do that, so that saves me tidying up later on in the day. And then we will head on upstairs to get them dressed. The girls are at an age now where they can dress themselves. So that's really good because it means that that's one less job for me to do. Whether they do a good job of it, it's not really the point. They, they try their best um, and get the job done. So while they are getting dressed, I will take Wills into his bedroom and get him dressed. But before I know it, normally Lils will come in because she just loves helping to get him dressed. She's a proper little mummy and will often choose what he's going to wear if she's got herself dressed quick enough. Their relationship is really cute. Ah, uh, how about these? Chapter one. So once we're back downstairs, we will do hair. And while one's having their hair done, the other one will read. You're sorry for Mr. Green. Mum loves apples. It's just a really nice part of the day. I like just brushing it and I've done a hair tutorial if you're interested on how to do French plaits that's one of our favorites and it's just a nice way to spend the morning like a, a relaxing end to the morning before we go to school. It's then time for shoes on making sure we've got book bags and water bottles and everything that we need and if me and Wills are going anywhere I'll make sure that we've got everything that we need and then it's time to take the girls to school and that is the end of our morning routine. Mm-hmm.